so this didn't used to be possible and Cheaty Box was fighting with my OBS software so I had to record this without audio and then do it with audio. So what I'm showing you how to do here is just that you can create the model to model connection and then uh, if you, you don't have to connect all three feet I found just one of the feet is generally enough and sometimes you don't even have to connect another one up above and you can move it around uh, in the X and Y plane uh, put it where you want it because sometimes you can't get a easy to generate three footed model now you notice there I moved it and it dropped to the build plate you know repeatedly but then I changed my orientation and now suddenly I can move it around again that's just kind of how it works. Not really sure why, um, but you know, it's one of those is what it is kind of things. Uh, and once you get it where you want it, you know, you just set a support underneath it. Sometimes you get lucky and you get one of the kinked ones and you can get a real nice connection um, that's super solid, like that, uh, which gets you nice and close without having a super giant span. So <coughs> one of the you know, other things to note with this is if for example you don't want it to stick, say that you know you want to walk it around. You Notice know, so I just pick up that foot and then now it moves around or it'll come to the build plate if I want it to go to the build plate. If when you that's how I actually figured this out was I had uh, ones that were sticking like see it just suddenly decided to stick I don't know why I love that it does it I hope they don't take it away it makes my life a whole lot easier um, so the thing that's important to note is when you generate this the feet are slaved their variables are set to whatever this was set to now your tip you can still change your diameters lower and upper these you cannot there's no changing them only way to change those is to change these numbers before you generate the support and then click generate and whatever size tip this is and whatever its contact depth is is the same tip size and contact depth of that um, it would be nice if in future updates we can change that now the other thing that I uh, found myself doing sometimes too is you know you, know, you set them where you want them and <coughs> you know, move it around to get your angle right and you know in this case this is obviously not right but oftentimes I can merge it into another set of supports uh, just to make you know life faster and easier um, you can also just make really nice tight uh, little uh, connections like that makes life very very much easier uh, the other thing that's new is how much more uh, useful these little single point to point model to model connections are uh, these didn't used to be very useful uh, but now you can really move them around they still kind of generate in weird ways sometimes uh, but by and large um, you can generate them more or less where you need them when you need them and they uh, are just they're actually edit editable now I think it's important to note is notice how right now I've got it selected and the end is in red if you come over here to depth notice how it's not changing anything you have to sometimes you have to basically click it twice and then um, now you notice how the end over here is moving that end is moving um, now you know this is a little floating bit I can't you know I mean, the moment I touch it it, it it'll uh, connect to a model and this will not let you can't connect this to another support that would be cool uh, but you can walk them around like let's say you needed it somewhere that you just couldn't for whatever reason get it to generate that does happen sometimes you can create it somewhere else and then walk it over um, now the thing that's super important uh, with you know why it's nice that these are more edible this is kinda how we're used to seeing them generate and this is just not okay 
So uh, notice that that top tip is white. That's what you want. Now you can come over here, and it didn't used to be that you, I mean, you could edit these, but it would often make it crash, uh, and it just doesn't make it crash now. And that is, you know, okay, that's acceptable. Um, you know, it, more often now it actually generates them in a reasonable way, so you don't have, you don't even really need to edit them uh, if you have to use them. Uh, you can, which is nice. Uh, it didn't used to be really particularly useful or editable, so. Uh, somebody had requested, you know, the, the uh, short video how to on how to move the the supports like this. And again, this is just really useful, not just for um, getting them into places that you couldn't get them into before uh, more easily, uh, but also just you know the amount of time. Because if you think about this for a second, like if I wanted to set you know these supports up here to begin with in the old version of Cheeto Box I'd have to you know set one over here raise it up and then set it and then make sure you know alright and you know that gets my first one and then you know I can still go like this and this is not bad this is how I'm used to doing things it's fine it works but you know that's these spans are long and these are with pretty thick diameter tips anyways you know um, if you compare that to to this or even to this you know the span is just a whole lot shorter and if you you know think about how much time it took me just to set those guys versus dropping one pulling this guy down pulling this guy up and then I just set four supports And now that I've got this built, this is where it gets really cool and nifty. Um, so I have found that 65 is a good good number here, and I just bumped this basically up to about a full one, and then set it so that it doesn't clip through. This will hold a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, so you know, we generate our. Oh, that's interesting. There we go. We generate our nice little a guy up here now. Let's set our feet. This is this is where it gets super super useful. Ah. Pull this up. Now notice again there where I just had to change my orientation around. If you're constantly having it uh, pull back down into a movable foot model or pull to the floor uh, to the, the build plate, just change your model orientation. Now look at how quickly I just set four supports and I merged them right into my pre-existing support this will hold several of these no problem at all and look at how much cleaner that is I don't have a whole bunch of pillars all crowded up down in here I don't ha I'm not burning a bunch of resin to come all the way up to here now the thing is is the one other thing I will do especially if I've got more than one uh, blossom one flower blossom coming off of a pillar is I will hit this with a second support um, just in case you haven't figured it out you can actually move these guys quite a bit you just have to be slow and deliberate and don't jump model to model it doesn't like to do that at all um, like not even a little bit Now, you know, this is suboptimal. I would normally do something maybe a little bit different, not that. But the point here is is that if you were going to do, let's say we were going to do like two or three more of these, like with just the two that are here, this is fine. If we were going to do more, I definitely want to put a second connection to stabilize this because suction forces and such. But the, the, the point still remains, this is way faster uh, then having to set and then merge and then set and then merge and then come back and set the heights right because every time you move it you gotta set your height right back whereas with these it's set it and forget it you're done and you move on um, 
and sometimes I'll even set one like here where I could have you know set and pulled in and in this case just go like that and now we've got a nice tight merge and that will hold just fine uh, anyways I hope this is helpful uh, feel free to ping me if you have any other questions or need any help